Hi everybody, this is God's Sad for the Sad Truth. I was not planning on uh, posting a clip today, but uh, sometimes circumstances dictate that we alter our uh, schedule. Uh, over the past few days since returning from vacation, I've become uh, regrettably aware of uh, an anchor woman at MSNBC. I'm not sure if she's still there. Her name is uh, Melissa Harris Perry, and uh, she might take the award for the uh, Social Justice Warrior of the Year Award. She is filled with fake outrage over every possible outcome in the universe. Um, I just watched a clip of hers, uh, I think two days ago, uh, of her pontifications regarding the fact that Star Wars is racist. And I will uh, provide you with the uh, clip where she offers her luminary analysis. So Star Wars has this uh, racist subtext apparently because you know Darth Vader is but he's black and then he's white and then, I, I don't know all the details of the storyline because uh, yes, wait for it, wait for it. I'm not much of a Star Wars fan, uh, but uh, anyway, so Star Wars is racist. Also, I saw another clip where a guest on her show uh, made the unforgivable mistake of uttering the following words. You ready? Now, these are horrifically racist words. He referred to someone as a hard worker. I know, it's, it's crazy. What kind of Nazi would utter such words? I mean, this guy's part of the KKK. Uh, she was very upset because it reminded her when she thinks of hard work of the slave cotton pickers and they're doing hard work and so he is appropriating this term uh, you know in a, in, a, in, a, in a grossly racist way because hard work is only something that refers to uh, whatever it is that the slaves went through uh, so then she went wild on that guy some of you may remember that she was the one who made fun of the adopted grandson of Mitt Romney because uh, you know, Mitt Romney is the epitome of the uh, white guy and the adopted grandson is black. And so she uh, engaged in some very progressive uh, humor regarding that reality, which later she apologized for. And uh, she had a show where she was talking about, are you ready for this? Black hair matters. And so she went into all sorts of uh, explanations as to this young boy who touched President Obama's hair and it reminds, it, re it made her feel very uh, emotional about the issue, the plight of black hair and so on. So I mean it is simply incredible that a person who is supposed to inform and dare I say educate the masses views every possible reality through the prism of racism. Now, does that mean that racism doesn't exist? Of course not. Racism exists in all societies, in all cultures. It has always existed and probably, and with much regret, will always exist. Uh, but of course, uh, to constantly cry wolf uh, actually detracts from real racism, right? Uh, there are endless people who suffer from endemic institution institutionalized racism, bigotry around the world. And uh, Melissa Harris Perry is certainly not helping that cause by seeing racism in all of its unicorn manifestations. Uh, I joked on Twitter that uh, I was heading off uh, bowling yesterday and I thought that I was concerned that it might be racist because uh, I would be using potentially uh, black bowling balls and the pins are white and so maybe I would be perpetuating ugly stereotypes by having the black ball uh, slamming into uh, the white pins and so I, I hope that Melissa Harris Perry doesn't think that I'm in any way racist for having engaged in the institutionalized form of bowling racism yesterday but of course Melissa Harris Perry can't come after me because you see, look at my skin. I'm a brown man from the Middle East. I'm Jewish. I'm Arabic. I am fat. So you see, 
I win the victimology card. This type of social justice warrior victimhood mentality has to be eradicated from public discourse. It is causing great harm to our ability to actually tackle important issues like violence against women, like sexism, like racism. When you have a clown that constantly cries racism for every possible banal manifestation of non-racism. Okay, So uh, there you go, people. Social justice warrior from the media for 2015, the luminary uncoverer of racism everywhere, Melissa Harris-Perry. Happy New Year. Don't forget tomorrow I have the wonderful and truly courageous uh, Asra Nomani uh, on the show. Uh, Melissa Harris Perry might want to watch what a real heroine looks like. Talk to you soon. Cheers.